Okay, so here we have a plaque that uh, was drawn up for Brent over at Half-Ass Customs. This is drawn up in SolidWorks. It's tough to see here, but all the letters and the rib around here does have a three degree angle on it for draft to make it easier to pull out of the sand mold. We'll uh, save this as an STL, export it over to the slicing software. We'll 3D print it. And then after that, we're going to uh, sand cast it. I think we're either doing this one out of aluminum. Okay. So now we've opened this up in Cura. It'll be our 3D slicing software. Fairly straightforward. The only thing that's on this, generally when we print our, our regular uh, parts we do for patterns, generally we just print with a 0.2 millimeter height. This one we've gone to a 0.1 millimeter height since we want, since it's a plaque, we want it to look just a little bit nice and try to, you don't see any of those feed lines. Uh, it's basically pretty well simple. It's just, we're gonna print out a PLA. It'll be at 200 degrees temperature. The bed, I like to go to 60 because that way I've never had any adhesion problems. No supports or nothing. The only thing is I'll, um, I just put a skirt around it. I never use a raft or anything like that. Uh, just due to the fact that we are going fine, it, this'll be just under 20, uh, a 20 hour print. We're gonna use 135 grams of, uh, of plastic. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, save this to the drive here and I'll go put it in the printer. You can see it's nothing, nothing overly fancy. Okay, here it is actually getting ready to do the actual uh, size of the plaque. I'll go to their side here. Like I said, our, our, our build height is only going to be 0.1 of a millimeter this time. Like I said, we're trying to get really nice quality, so when we sand cast this, it'll come out as nice as possible. So we'll see how it goes. I, I know it basically doubles the print time, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the plaque done. Came out pretty good. The only thing is next time I went for three uh, three layers, I think I'll do four, because you can see in between a couple of the letters here, there's just a little bit of gap, but I'll just fill that in with a little bit, uh, kind of like a putty wax. But the detail is nice. It should come out really good when we cast it. We might even try to do one in Petrobond and one in Sandcast, just to see the difference in quality. But it should look pretty good. So we're uh, going to be uh, pouring uh, some aluminum, some ca casting. Uh, so we got uh, plaques made up of uh, some of our friends in the city. Uh, out of uh, basically plastic, we printed it on the 3D printer. Uh, we're using these as molds. Uh, we've got an old, uh, or a, that's it, new. New or newer. Uh, cement mixer we converted to a uh, sand molar and we're using Petrobon it's not quite sand it's a little bit better and uh, this is one of the pieces as you can see this is uh, one of the, the plaques just like this uh, and that's the sand two different types of sand well I'm calling it sand but it's called Petrobon this is just brand new stuff this is some used stuff that's why it's black but we put it in a mold, put a top on, and then uh, we'll show you pouring too. Um, we'll, basically this comes out and it creates a cavity and we pour the liquid aluminum in there and uh, wait till it cools and pull it out. But we'll uh, pull this one out and we'll show you what it looks like. Show you. We'll just 
Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting you can edit. Also, too, that one's not a deep plaque. Taking here. Got your two screws. Yep. You can even speed this up too. Voila. Perfect. As you can see, it looks backwards because that's what we're making. And that's the correct way. And basically what we do is cut cut uh, an intake here. So we'll put a little hole here uh, to, to pour it. Well, we got to put a top onto this too. But through the top, we'll cut a hole here and a, and a little trough here and a lot of the molten aluminum to come in and fill in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that shortly. All right, it's a hot one here today. It's supposed to go up to about 32, 33 without the humidity, so it's going to be hot. Celsius. So that's Celsius. So Fahrenheit, that's 90, 91, I think. Humidity, uh, it's probably 40. Oh yeah, it's, it's toasty. With the humidity, it'll be feel over 100 right now. Um, very important, whenever you put a crucible down on your base, over your plinth, put a piece of cardboard. So that way it creates a barrier so your crucible does not stick. We have found out the hard way that many years ago. It sucks. Uh, this base is just about finished. We only use it for aluminum now. It's done, oh, probably 30 or 40 cast iron melts. And you can see there's some spillage in that over the years. And this one's, this one's taking a beating. Generally, we use for an exterior for the furnace here, we use um, insulating cloth. For this one, we're just going to use the original uh, refractory. It works pretty good for aluminum and brass. Not bad, but for the cast iron and bronze, we use the cloth. Melt time with this setup here, it's probably almost double the time. But like I said, aluminum melts at a lower temperature, so it's not that big a deal. We're going to melt about eight and a half pounds today so it should only take to get up to temperature about an hour uh, when we do cast iron in here with the cloth it's usually about two and a half three depending on how much we do sometimes we, the most we can melt up is about 60 pounds not with that crucible that crucible is only good up to about 25 the bigger crucibles we can get up to 60. we're using an old uh, it's actually for filling mattresses it came out of an old sewing machine factory it was sitting on the shelf there it's worked really well we use a ball valve to regulate it and uh, yeah, we've melted with this several hundred pounds of cast and probably about a thousand pounds of bronze with it. It's, it's done a lot of work. Yeah, over many years. Yeah. And every time we learn, uh, every time we do this, we learn as we go too. Oh, there was several, well, I'll say lots of mistakes, lots of little mistakes over the years on both the pouring, the melting. Now we do have a pyrometer. I'll show a picture of it later. It's uh, a decent pyrometer. It's good up to, it only do it up for bronze. It's only a, a K thermocouple, but it's, it does pretty good. But yeah, we used to do it by eye, and that's hit or miss at best. And with a thermocouple, it, especially bronze, it greatly increased the, the outcome. But we'll get this charged, we'll uh, start melting, and we'll get back. Definitely need ice cream today. We're just getting ready to add some more uh, aluminum to, the, uh, to our crucible here. We're melting about 8.5 pounds today. Uh, we're, today we're using A356, which is uh, an aluminum alloy. I buy from local foundry, so it's virgin material. We're not gonna add potassium to it today because generally we find with the virgin material, we don't have issues. Same small batches, we don't argon degas. If it was a bigger bigger piece, I probably would. We never really seem to have any issues. Um, I'm just gonna add the piece. Remember always when you're gonna have anything nearer that, make sure we just took the tongs off the crucible here, dry any latent moisture out that's in there. Always be careful, be smart, wear a face shield. I'll take this off the side here. 
I always leave it just up on fire bricks. Lift my lid off here. You can already see we're molten there. This we have already had on top. Slowly push it in. That way it doesn't hit the bottom. You see there we're melting, it'll go there. I'll do a quick shot here, my a quick shot of my pyrometer. I'll just stick her in here. This is uh, from Auber Industries. It's a homemade dealie. They sell the thermocouple. They sell the uh, the little box here. Then all I use is a piece of stainless. Welded it on. A little guy there. Use Velcro. It's actually another YouTuber on the internet. He gave all the website and everything to do it. And uh, just heat it up and put it in. We're going to cast today. At, since they're thinner sections, we're probably going to go up at about uh, 1400 or so. We're doing this on video. Generally, I preheat it first in the heat, so that way you don't have to leave it in there as long. But you're going to see it. Uh, we're probably up at about, with throwing that piece in, it'll bring it down a little bit. We're probably up at about 1,200 right now, give or take. But yeah, we'll heat it up a little bit more. And then we'll, uh, yeah, super rare, about 1,200. And then we'll get ready, to, we'll bring the, the boxes up and then we'll cast. Facial cord? Yep, throw me one. Not throwing. Right. Yeah. Okay, remember you guys have to give me enough room to get this damn thing in here. Do I need gloves or pistol? Hey, Chris, you got a bigger head than I do. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're adjustable. Well, they all got five. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Chris, what am I doing? Okay, grab the cone. Okay, go. Okay, this off. Take your okay. time. You guys put her down? Yep. Okay, open up here. Okay. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Can you start rocking and rolling while rock. you're clean. We're good? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you got nothing. Let me, I, I, I gotta scrape it there. That's all we're gonna get. Okay, now we reverse it, Kev. You got that cardboard? Oh shit. Very hot. Flame. Okay, that'll burn right away. Okay, you got her? Put the lid back on. Want the cap on here, right? Yep. Yeah, it should be a hog guard. And how long we gotta let them sit for, bug? Half hour, an hour. Yeah. Okay. We'll move them cool quick. I'm filming. Okay, so we'll crack this one open here. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> let me put my gloves on because it'll still be a little bit hot. They've sat about eh, 45 minutes since we poured them. They're hot, but they said we'll see. We'll probably eh, maybe it'll come out. Nope. We'll do it over the pail. What? The? Grab the wood, Ryan. Fucking wood. I never had Petra Bond this bad before. Oh, the DD came out. <clears throat> yeah, looks like it came out. Petra Bond slick, it just kind of.
we know who that is and we'll just this just has to be ground off ground off cleaned up around the edge and it's a aluminum block tell me you're ready um, okay that probably came out okay Sobering restoration. And the last one. Half ass customs. Mm. We'll do the same thing, just grind off the excess. And we're gonna go see him in a few days and hand them off. Okay, so here's the three plaques that came out. Not 100%, but not too bad. I should have probably put a little bit more draft in. We only went three degrees draft, especially on the DD. We should have maybe went five or even seven, but they pulled out okay. Just need to clean up the edges with the flashing and that. And the one to keep in mind, if you're ever gonna do casting, the safety is always a big thing. You notice we all wear face shields. Aluminum's not as bad. When we do bronze and cast iron, where we wear kickoffs on our feet, steel toes, jeans. Generally, I wear another pair over my jeans. Safety is a bigger issue. Aluminum still you have to be careful with and safety is always a big issue because you are dealing with metal that's about 1400 degrees. Safety first. And if you like what you see, like, link, and subscribe. And we'd love to hear your comments because it's pretty neat how we did this. So Not everybody does this shit, so. Oh, no.